Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can select data from a table. To query all of the data from a table, we would type select asterisk, meaning all, from the name of the table. In my case, we have table employees. This statement, select all from employees, will give me all columns and all rows. But sometimes you may not want all of the data. Here's a scenario. Your boss gives you a task of retrieving the full name of every employee. Well, we don't need employee ID, hourly pay, or hire date for that, right? We just need a list of the first and last names of our employees table. In place of the asterisk, meaning all, we can select specific columns, such as first name and last name. We have all of the first and last names from our employees table. You can change up the order of the columns too. This time I would like last name, then first name. With our query, this returned all of the last and first names of all the employees. Point being, you can select specific columns depending on what you're looking for, or everything with the asterisk. There is a clause known as the where clause. If we're looking for something specific, let's add where. Then what are we looking for exactly? We can write some criteria. Let's select all from employees where employee ID equals one, then end your statement with a semicolon. This will give us a specific employee, the employee that has an ID of one. If I set employee ID to be two, that would give us Squidward, three would be SpongeBob, four, Patrick, I think you get the idea. Here's an exercise. Let's find all the data from employees where the first name equals SpongeBob, where first name equals Sponge Bob. This query will return employee ID 3, the first name, last name, hourly pay, and hire date. Here's another example. Let's find all employees that have an hourly pay greater than or equal to 15. Our criteria will be where hourly pay is greater than, we'll use the greater than operator, or equal to 15. This returns three employees, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, and Sandy. All three of them have an hourly pay of $15 per hour or greater. It is possible your query can return multiple results. Let's find anybody that has a higher date, less than or equal to perhaps the year 2023, January 3rd. This query returns two results, Eugene Krabs and Squidward Tentacles. They both match this criteria. And in this case, we use the less than or equals to operator. Another operator you should know about is the not comparison operator. It's an exclamation point and an equal sign. We will check if something is not equal. Let's find where employee ID does not equal one. Who are all the employees that have an ID not equal to one? That gives us Squidward, SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, and Plankton. On the other hand, if I set this to one, that would give us Mr. Krabs. That is the not comparison operator. If you need to check if something is not equal. In this next example, let's pretend that we're human resources. We need to find any employees that do not have a higher date and then begin the paperwork for them. Currently, Plankton's hourly pay and hire date are both set to null. Null meaning no value. In place of saying, you know, hire date equals null, in place of using the equal sign, we would type is. Select all from employees where hire date is null. That would return Sheldon Plankton because his hire date is null. Not equals null, that doesn't work it would be is null. You could even say is not null. That would return every employee that does have a higher date. All right, everybody, so that is how to query data from a table. Select whatever you're looking for. It can be everything or specific columns from a table of your choosing where the results equal some criteria that you set. It really depends on what you're looking for. And that is how to query data from a table.